Don't know how this is going to turn out in Lightroom because the blue isn't going to be that blue, but I'm going to try as a horsefly just bit my leg. Hey kids, welcome to the middle of nowhere. We are out on a Saturday afternoon. It's about 27 degrees out right now. Sun is shining. Uh, we're taking a road trip today because right now in the mountains, it's super smoky. It's actually super smoky anywhere in Canada right now, basically from British Columbia east as the winds blow from the east to, or from the west to the east. Because of the forest fires right now in British Columbia, over 300 burning and they've lost a town and you know, a Soyuz is in danger. Uh, I decided instead of heading to the mountains because of all the forest fire smoke, that I would just take a drive. I'm about an hour and a half, almost two hours north of Calgary. Uh, I'm in a little area near Bashaw, Alberta. In fact, my aunt and uncle's place uh, their farm is not too far from here. I'm just taking a drive, didn't think I would end up in this area. I thought I would go out and redo the canola field shoot today that I did a couple of years ago because I wasn't too happy about how the uh, the video quality looked and the, and the, and the volume, the uh, audio quality was on that film. But as I'm driving around and looking, Canola is uh, a beautiful site, but I thought I would do something different and I'm gonna go harsh daylight and shoot some old abandoned barns and farmyards if I can find any. I'm in between Bashaw and Pinoka right now. Uh, it's a tremendous farming area. It's a beautiful area, lots of hills, lots of rolling hills and lots of old farmhouses. A couple of rules for today. I'm only gonna use a polarizer. I'm not gonna try to bracket anything. Uh, we're gonna do it just as basic and as simple as you can. If you're new to photography, this is something I want you to try to try to do as well. Just go take a day trip somewhere, take a drive. If you don't have a polarizer, don't worry about it. Just go out and shoot, work on composition, work on putting things in your foreground, work on, on, on foreground subject, leading lines, all that fun stuff. Sometimes you never know, you might get a, a portfolio shot. Don't know if I'll get portfolio shot today or not, as I just spit. <laughs> so stick with me today as we go exploring Central Alberta farming community. driving down the road, and that's what I see. Perfect red barn. Forget about the canola field right now. Look at the overgrowth in front of it. The windows are all broken out. The roof is sagging in. A couple more years, this isn't gonna be standing anymore. The light, not the best light. I wish it was on the other side, but sometimes you just gotta make the best of a bad situation. This is a good situation in bad light, but I'm still gonna shoot it and hopefully we'll get something. Same rules apply, no tripod, only have a polarizer on. Uh, let's just walk around. 
and see if we can find a composition. I'm still going to respect the privacy of the landowner and not walk on their property, even though I desperately want to. Um, I don't want to do that today. If I slide more this way, there's some uh, evergreen trees, some pine trees um, that I might be able to shoot through. Uh, there's a ditch. I'll get down low in the ditch maybe. We're going to walk over in the ditch a little bit here, about uh, 30 yards, and shoot through some overgrown trees that are in the ditch and uh, see what we can get. So the barn is to my right here, and uh, we'll see what we can find. Now, if I frame it up between these two sets of trees, that might be a shot. We'll do a low aperture and see what that does. Dial in that polarizer again to get those blues, what little blues we have. Oh, that's it right there. Let me pull you close. Sometimes just going out for a day drive, you find these hidden places. So that's what I see right now. We're gonna use the uh, trees on the left, trees on the right, We'll get down just in a little bit of a squat like I did for that test shot and uh, give, you the, give you the shot here. So that first one that I did earlier was just a test composition shot. So let's dial in the settings now. Um, I'm gonna squat in about that posture. Maybe come in. First off, let's come in tight and just get the barn. So we're gonna pop 100 is the ISO. 1 25th of a second, 3 8 is my F stop, and pop it. That's pretty nice there. We're getting a little bit of diagonal light across the front of that barn, uh, so it creates a little bit of drama, but look at the weathering on that barn. It's like a Hollywood movie set, eh? Our little bird friend still hasn't moved. Just spectacular. Uh, I'm going to come a little closer and I'm going to hide behind these trees here to make it a little bit more mysterious of a shot. Like we're peeking in. I don't know what that's going to look like, but knowing my luck, it'll probably look like crap, but you'll see it. And if it looks like crap, well, then it looks like crap. So it looks like the property line is right on the other side of these trees after the ditch here. So I'm going to go right on the property line and go low to see if I can use the grass and weeds as kind of a foreground anchor for this shot. Let's go see. So the boundary line looks about here. Um, hopefully you can see me. I can't really tell and I'm not in frame or not, but uh, if I squat down low, put the barn in the far right of the frame using the rule of thirds. Um, there's some outbuildings there. I'll be able to, to include them kind of as a, as a, just a background uh, texture layer, but I really like the overgrowth on that barn right now. And we'll focus in right in the front corner of that barn. There's a tree on the right side that I'm going to include as well. Um, nice. White balance doesn't matter because of course I'm shooting in raw and when I go to edit in Lightroom, then I can tweak my white balance to cloudy, hazy, smoky, whatever we've got going on today because of those forest fires. <sighs> Let's keep looking. So I'm hugging the boundary line of the property. Uh, I just shot literally right where the camera is right now. It's pretty muggy, I'm getting a little sweaty, but uh, I like this angle a little bit more for shooting the barn. It's a little bit more open face to me, but still creates the depth. Um, man, that barn is phenomenal. So let's go low for this and just have the barn itself. There's a piece of overgrown grass we want to get rid of. We'll pop 1 one sixtieth of a second. F3, ISO is 100. Boy, that's nice. I don't know if we'll do black and white or color for these. Some pigeons landing on the roof, but I always like to shoot just a couple of the subject just to make sure I've got it. We'll go vertical for this one. Focus in on the barn, put a little bit of the grass in the front. 
and pop that. Man, breathtaking. Now that I've got the mini falcon up in the air, I want to do a photo of just those awesome barn doors up top, the loft barn doors. So I'm going to put the position of the mini falcon right in place here. You'll see it on the video screen now as I come down. Uh, I need to back up just a bit. I love the look of the white paint transitioning into weathered because of the overhang of the uh, hay hook um, has protected the white um, the white paint up top. If I would walk on the property, I would take the 7200, stand in the middle of the property and pop the shot. And that's what I would use. But since, like I said, I'm going to be respectful, I'm just going to use the drone. And sometimes drones come in handy. So we're in position now. What I'm going to do is pop this shot and then I'll crop in a bit just so it's completely just the barn doors. But I'm going to switch into manual exposure. And uh, let's try there. One sixtieth of a second. Uh, no, maybe not. Let's try. Yeah, let's do one sixtieth of a second ISO. Let's do 200 for an ISO. And uh, we'll pop this and see what we get here. I'm going to put the drone in the center of the, put the barn doors in the center of the frame and pop the shot. Ah. <sighs> It's nice to get out and go for a drive. I put the sunglasses on, not because I think I'm Joe Cool. It's just that I can't work a camera with sunglasses on. I am blind as a bat. So when I put on my prescription sunglasses and they're polarized and looking through a polarizer, it messes up my eyes. But I got out today. I'm so glad I went out. I wasn't sure what I was going to get just because of the smoky conditions, but it's not too bad out right now. This morning in Calgary, the forest fire smoke was so thick you could smell it in the air, but uh, a little farther north and it lightened up a little bit so I could get out and find this awesome location that uh, I never thought I could find. Go out and enjoy the day. Summer's here, enjoy. Hopefully we're getting to the end of this pandemic that's happening and, and travel can happen again. But if you can't, still get out and take a drive. The Falcon never lets me down, so that's what we did today. In the meantime, and in between time, stay healthy, stay safe. I'll catch you next time, guys. And as always, guys, please rock the subscribe button and ring the bells for notifications. We'll check you next time.